it's going to take me less than say 20 minutes to go through this entire process and you'll see the amount of traction that I can get in by hopping on from say 8 a.m. until 8 15 8 30 in the morning and the type of business that that can drum up just by spending 20 to 30 minutes a day all right so a lot of you may have heard that linkedin is a great way to build your brand to build your business um, and to really just showcase your value in a online profile and i think a lot of people realize okay yeah maybe it's valuable but how do i take action to actually make myself valuable and how do I prospect and how do I find people on LinkedIn who actually want my product? And you can buy tools like LinkedIn Recruiter or get the LinkedIn Premium Edition, but that's really not the best way to prospect. Now, if you're a recruiter, specifically recruiting for Salesforce talent or any other type of talent, um, you may want to be on LinkedIn Recruiter. I'm sure that they have many benefits to help you, but if you're just a typical person looking to grow your small business or looking to do some freelance work and find some new prospects, or you're looking for jobs and you want to find more and more people who might have open positions that you're interested in, and all you're doing is getting on LinkedIn and kind of searching and trying to figure out what to do next, you're doing the right thing, but there's a much more efficient way to do that. And I'm going to talk to you about that today. So this is an amazing tool. It's called Octopus CRM. And I know that's a ridiculous name, um, but I don't really care what the name of it is because this platform works so well. So here's the deal. Um, I'm really transparent, so I'm going to get straight to the chase. There is a price involved. So it's a seven day free trial. Do whatever you want. Seven days after that. It's $9.99 per month. And let me tell you that just by using this tool with my product that I sell, I've been able to make thousands of dollars, truly thousands of dollars per week using this tool to connect with potential prospects. And because I'm giving them that personal touch, it feels very, uh, it feels very personal. And it feels like I am reaching out to you directly. And while I do want to talk to you directly, it's much more efficient for me to reach out to a hundred people at a time or a thousand people at a time instead of one at a time. Now, once they respond to me and they say, Hey Brad, I want to talk to you. You're talking to me, but on that initial contact point, this is actually an automated push where it connects with a lot of people at once. So uh, instead of me sitting here talking about it, let's hop in to LinkedIn and Octopus CRM, and I'll show you how these two work together to boost your LinkedIn following, to boost your prospects, to make you more efficient on LinkedIn, and actually allow you to dominate in the LinkedIn space with a tool that very few people know anything about. Uh, so let's jump in. All right, so now as you can see, we are in LinkedIn, we're looking uh, really at my LinkedIn homepage or my feed or what, whatever you want to call it. And obviously, if you know me, I'm very well immersed in the Salesforce uh, ecosystem. But this is not just for Salesforce. If you want to use it for Salesforce, awesome. If you're doing Salesforce freelancing or any other type of freelancing, perfect. If you're looking for jobs on LinkedIn, this is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this is Octopus CRM right here. You can see it's a Chrome extension. And all I have to do is open it up and it actually has on top of the Chrome extension, we actually have a hub or the inside of the CRM. Now it's very simple. Like most CRMs, like if you're used to Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics or Infusionsoft, there's so much functionality. There's not a lot of functionality here. And that's a good thing. Number one, it's less than 10 bucks a month and it's free for the first seven days. So it's not like, oh no, you don't get good functionality and you pay some ridiculous price. What you get is a, a simple dashboard. You have the ability to connect with individuals on LinkedIn. And if you've been on LinkedIn, that's basically like uh, friending someone, but at a professional level. So they're becoming your connection, which means when you post, they see what you post. Um, and that's important because when people see what you post, that allows you to influence them. And I don't mean that in a manipulative way or a marketing kind of way. What I mean is when people are connected with you, that allows them to see what you post. And if you post valuable content, that means they are going to find you valuable and therefore you are building your brand as a valuable person 
on a particular topic. So I talk a lot about Salesforce. So the people who connect with me and follow me, my hope is that they see me as a valuable person to be part of their network in order to help give them information and influence their opinions on Salesforce and the way the Salesforce ecosystem operates. That's not a negative thing. I'm trying to give as much value as possible to the people who connect with me. So I want people to want to be connected with me. Now, messaging uh, is another thing in LinkedIn. So it's a simple thing. You just message people and this is a way to stir up a conversation with them or to reach out to them, sort of like an email blast where you can reach out to them directly. But the cool thing about using this tool is they don't get that big in-mail banner inside of LinkedIn. That's like, hey, this is from a paid message from LinkedIn. It's not like that. It simply looks like you're sending the message one to one and there is no way for anyone to know that you didn't send this message directly to them. Now, then we can visit individuals and you might say, well, why would I want to, what, what does visiting mean? Well, visiting means that it literally uh, goes in, the CRM goes in for you and it clicks on the profile and views that profile, but you don't actually do anything. And it does this in a mass way. Um, and I'll show you how to get these lists updated in just a second. And why is that important? Because people get a notification when you visit their profile. And what, what happens when they see a notification that says Bradley visited your profile? They see it and they go, oh, who is this Bradley? He visited my profile. Or they might go, hey, I've heard of him. I wonder why he was looking at my profile. And what do you think they do next? They go look at my profile. They go to Bradley Rice's profile. They click on that. And guess what? Because I've optimized my LinkedIn profile, it's, it's really a, an information page where they can find out more about me. They can find out more about the products that I offer and the services that I offer. And now they've landed on my LinkedIn page. They're going to absorb information about me and they might want to message me or they might want to click on a couple of the links on my LinkedIn page. So even if they don't, it doesn't matter because once you do this to a hundred people, a thousand people, 10,000 people, people start clicking your links and they start getting a positive feeling about you because you're visiting them. Now, exact same concept with endorsing. You can come into endorsements. You can select to either endorse people for three, five, or seven of their skills. So if you're familiar with LinkedIn, you have your skills listed on your profile. I could go show you where I have my skills listed on my profile. So I've got my skills down here and let's see all the way at the bottom. So here are my skills and there's more down below, but these are my top three skills. All right. And so what happens is when you come into Octopus, you can endorse people. And I'll show you each one of these um, in just a moment. But when you endorse individuals, that again, sends them a notification. It says, hey, I just endorsed you um, for these three things. Do you wanna do you want to send Brad a thank you for endorsing him? Well, what they're probably gonna do is they might message you and say, thanks. Hey, they're gonna check out your profile. They're gonna say, who is this guy who just endorsed me? And they're gonna go, oh, thanks for endorsing me. Um, they might endorse me for a couple of things and they, they might boost my appeal with these things, right? Like Salesforce or cloud computing or CRM. Maybe, but that's not my goal here. Like get endorsements, sure, that's fine. But what I really want them to do is get that notification that says Brad endorsed you. And I want them to message me so I can start a conversation with them. Or I want them to go to my profile, just like visiting and say, hey, who just endorsed me? And now they're gonna check that information out. They're gonna see some links about the products and services that I offer, and they're gonna click on them. And that's why I said in the intro to this video that I have quite literally made thousands of dollars per week because I have products and services that I offer. And that is the same for anyone selling a course, anyone selling anything including services like consulting services, contracting services, or freelance services. Now, if you're looking for a job, this is all huge. You are making more and more connections. You are messaging people with what feels like a personal message. You are visiting their profile and they're getting notified. You're endorsing them for skills and they're getting notified and they're checking out your profile. So here is the pro tip, make sure your LinkedIn profile looks exactly the way you want it to look, okay? 
So your profile photo, your background, your title, your about section needs to show exactly what you want it to show. Your featured content needs to be ready to go and all of this. So as soon as they get a little notification that says Bradley visited your profile or Bradley endorsed you for a skill, they are going to click on you. They're going to come here and this needs to be exactly the way you want it to be because you don't want this to all be blank and people are coming and visiting you and then they have nothing to see. You want this to be perfect so that when they're coming to see you, they see exactly what you want them to see and then they want to move forward with you. So if you're looking for a job, this needs to have all the reasons why you are amazing at the job that you want and the people you're reaching out to. If you're looking to sell a service or a uh, product, you need to have this updated with the product and the service and how they can contact you and the best way to reach you and the best way to get more information. And they can find that right here, Talent Stack or Salesforce. They can read a little bit right here, they get another link. They can go a little bit further, they get another link. So there's always links, they can click on these. These will take them to uh, my, my YouTube channel, which will link them up to all kinds of different information. So they have so many opportunities to link and if they want to they can just message me there will be a message button this is my profile but on any other profile they can shoot me a message so um this is exactly what you want to do now the question in the back of your mind right now is okay brad well you've got 957 people in your list to connect with you've got 879 in your list to endorse you have no one to message how how do you get these lists populated and how do you actually do something and I'm going to show you just how many messages and notifications and everything that rolls in. And you might say, dang, Brad, like, I don't want a bunch of messages to respond to, or I don't want a bunch of notifications to read through. Well, guess what? Those messages and notifications are what lead to landing jobs, what lead to selling your product, selling your service, and gaining the client base that you want in place and targeting the people that you want to see you. So those are the people you want messaging you. Now, the way you're doing it today, you might be getting four or five messages and maybe nine or 10 notifications a day. And that's cool and it feels productive. Now, what if we were getting 30 or 40 or 50 messages a day and we were getting 100 notifications a day yes it might feel a little overwhelming but it just means there's going to be a massive multiplier effect to the number of connections and contacts and networks that we build on a daily basis which means we're going to land jobs faster we're going to sell our product faster and we're going to potentially sell our services faster and if you have products and services that you know are amazing then you are doing a service to the world by getting that product and that service in front of people who care about it. Because if you're not, that's your fault. And if you truly think your product is amazing, then you're doing a disservice to the community by not letting people know about your product. Now, we don't need to scam people or spam people or anything else, but if you have a valuable product, let's get it in front of the people who need it. So what I'm gonna do is I, uh, search in the uh, Salesforce space because that's where, where my products align. And there's a specific training tool that people use in the Salesforce space called Trailhead. So I'm just going to go into LinkedIn. I'm going to search Trailhead. I'll show you how easy it is to build these lists. And then I'm going to head over to people because I want to connect with people. And now you can see it's like 52,000 people. All right, that's overkill. So for new connections, you, you want to make sure if, it, if they're a first connection, you don't want to connect with them. You're already connected. So you want to do second and third for building your connection list. But I've already got my connection list built. But if I were to try to build that out a little more and say, hey, let me look at my second and thirds. I want to make those first level connections. And I want to add those to my connection list. So there's 47,000 people, right? That's a ton of people. You can see these already have a pending request out and the CRM is smart enough to skip those. So all I would have to do is come up here to my CRM tool and say, I would like to add these to my connection and the default campaign is perfectly fine. And I want to send top however many hundred thousand. And so it has to be less than a thousand, right? So or a thousand or less, I should say. So we can do a thousand at a time. Now, rule of thumb with connection requests, 50 to 100 a day is the most you want to do. So if I put 100 up here, that's got me, or 1,000 up here, that's got me good for 10 to 20 days of connecting, and then I can come back and do it again. So you're talking twice a month, three times a month, you might have to come in and do this. I'm going to connect with 100 people. So all I'm going to say is, hi, first name, I noticed you were in the Salesforce space, so I wanted to reach out and connect. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, and I'm happy to do what I can to assist. Thanks for connecting.
Bradley Rice. That's it. Super simple. And I brought in this first name, uh, Merge Field, just by simply clicking first name up here. So it's going to say, hi, Dana. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Jen. And it's going to send them a message. I can sort of see what they're up to, like trailhead.com, proven operations leader. So these are all Salesforce people. Well, all I'm going to do is grab 100 of them because I don't want to connect with more than 100 people a day. And I'm going to send this request to them. So let's launch it for the top 100. That means I still have another nine days of 100 at a time. So let me launch that. So what's going to happen here? is this is going to process one profile at a time. Okay. So this is imitating the way that you actually operate as an individual. So it's reaching out to the next person, Joan MBA, and it's going to connect with her in the next 15 seconds. So I'm not going to sit here and make you watch a hundred of these process. Um, but you will see as it connects with these first couple that it's imitating a very natural process. So I just went to somebody's profile and I connected with them. And now, now that I've connected with Joan, I'm going to go ahead and send that connection request. Now I'm going to head over to Jen. So it's imitating a very natural progression. Now I'm going to go look at Jen's profile and, oh, I'm going to look at that for maybe 20, 30 seconds. And then I'm going to say, hey, Jen, would you like to connect with me? And it's following this very iterative process that feels natural. And this is what allows you to not red flag LinkedIn to say, hey, this guy just connected with 100 people simultaneously. That's not possible. Let's figure out if we should flag this account. Instead, it's going through 20 seconds at a time and staggering the invite. So I'm going to press pause on the video and then we will come back when it's time for us to send out our endorsement invitations. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to do the endorsements real quick. I'm going to endorse people for their top three skills. And all I've got to do is come over. This is my, uh, my list. These are ones I've done in the past, you know, uh, last week. So I'm going to come over here and we're just going to do a uh, hundred of these as well. And we're just going to see what happens. So I'm going to launch this. This does take uh, just as long uh, to run through these. So once it is done going through this list, then uh, I will check back in later. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here in a, a few hours later today, and we're going to see what the traction is like. And we're going to go check LinkedIn and see how many notifications and how many messages we have and the type of traction you can get by being more efficient and automating these processes. And you can see, even as I'm guiding you through this, it's gonna take me less than say 20 minutes to go through this entire process. And you'll see the amount of traction that I can get in by hopping on from say 8 a.m. until 8.15, 8.30 in the morning. And the type of business that that can drum up just by spending 20 to 30 minutes right, a day. So we got those endorsements out. Those have been out for about two hours now. We got the connections out. Those have been out for about three hours now. Uh, we can do this every single day. Uh, we can go in and do, you wanna do a hundred connection requests or less each day. You can do as many endorsements or messages as you want, but of course you're gonna fill up your inbox with messages and notifications and people asking you about your products and services if you do this too much. So you probably wanna limit it to what you can handle, but the connection request you do wanna be careful with. So let's head over to LinkedIn and make sure and, and just see what we have. So we sent out, uh, it ended up being 86 connection requests this morning and we sent out a hundred endorsements and we have 38 messages in my inbox right now. So I'm not gonna open these up and, and actually show you what people are saying because these are real people and you can find them on LinkedIn, but you can see the traction you can get in two to three hours. You can have 38 prospects with messages in your LinkedIn messenger inbox waiting for you to respond to. And can you imagine the traction that small businesses can get, individuals can get by using LinkedIn, a tool that costs less than $10 a month, and you can drum up 38 prospects. I mean, even if we have a minimal conversion rate with this, maybe we only get one conversion, which puts us at about a 1% conversion rate, a little better than 1%. If we have one conversion, meaning that one person purchases our service or product and our product is worth a hundred bucks, well, we just spent 20 minutes making a hundred dollars because of this. Now imagine if our product costs more than a hundred bucks or if our service is hourly and we get five or 10 hours of our service added and that's a contract for, you know, 500 or a thousand dollars or whatever it is. 
or if this is the difference between you spending 20 minutes in the morning and landing a job that you've been looking for, or simply building your network and influence on LinkedIn, this is too easy to pass up and you should absolutely be using this tool to enhance your LinkedIn branding, your performance, and build your small business and find jobs using LinkedIn.